guys, this is Sassy Saturday episode 14. It's crazy how many Sassy Saturdays I've been doing lately. It's so crazy. Um, so anyway, I want to apologize again. I know I've been apologizing in literally every single video, but my, I just look, my hair looks crazy. I haven't been wanting to do anything with my hair, so that's why I just leave it natural because I don't know what to do with my hair. So guys, give me some ideas as to what I should do to my hair um, because I just don't know what to do with it anymore. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to do what I wore this week. Um, first combination is China Glazes Agro, which came out with the um, Hunger Games collection. There we go. Um, it's just a really pretty olive green shade. I love it. It's like a, it's the, a beautiful satin finish. I love it a lot. It just reminds me of fall. It's like my definition of fall in a green color. I love it. And then over a couple of nails, I was wearing Revlon Heavenly, which is just a really pretty iridescent shimmer. And this bottle reminds me of leaves because it's like halloween -y and like colors are changing. They're green to orange and I don't know. It just kind of reminds me of leaves for some reason. I don't know. Do you guys see that in this model? Or is it just me? And the second combination that I'm wearing just on three nails because it chipped off is the snakeskin nail art that I did, which is up on Wednesday. Um, I used two different shades of gray. I used an Avon one in urban gray, just a light gray. But if you don't buy from Avon, the Essie has some really good cream finishes and I know that they have really good light gray shades. And then I used Seat Vintage which is a medium gray, um, and it's a cream finish as well. Again, if you don't want to buy Seat, um, go with Essie. Use snakeskin foil for that, um, which I have the tutorial up for that. It'll be in the down bar underneath video recap, so if you want to go and see how to get snakeskin print nails, if you haven't already, definitely go check it out. It's pretty cool. And on my toes, I haven't done that in forever because I finally changed it this week. I believe it was this week. Um, as my base color, I'm wearing Wet n Wild Mega. Wet n Wild May Last and Through the Grapevine. It's just a really pretty medium tone purple. And then over the top, I'm wearing red carpet manicure LED gel polish in Best Dressed. Um, it's just a burgundy shade and this really isn't, I mean it is necessary because I wanted this darker color, but you don't have to buy the gel polish one because this is super sheer. Okay, sheer. My favorite base coat that I've been loving right now is Sally Hansen Maximum Growth. It's amazing. This is an older bottle and an older version. Um, now it's the cap part is pink instead of white. And yeah, but it really does grow out your nail. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but my ring fingernail has grown out. Let's see, focus. See, it's grown. And this pointer finger one has grown a bit. And my nails, like, they grow amazingly with this, so I definitely recommend this. And these are my favorite um, nails that I have done so far. I like all the nails that I've done, but these are just so cute, and they're really Halloween-ish. So if this one is my Halloween candy nail art uh, tutorial, which was up on Friday. Um, and as you can see, there's little polka dots in all the Halloween colors. And then this one, I did more of a design, which I really, really like this one. But this nail is my all-time favorite. I painted little candies on it. And it's just so cute. I love it. So if you want to know how to get these, definitely go check out that tutorial. Okay, got some few makeup favorites. Um, I uploaded a haul on Thursday from Coastal Scents. And they sent me in the haul this sample. And I really, really like um, everything I'm wearing. Every eyeshadow that I'm about to say I am wearing it um, is the steel gray shade which is this charcoal gray color I love this one a lot it's really really pretty I like I like this one this one and this one I don't care for this one very much because it's just it is like a gray and all but it's just like what do I use that for because it's pretty sheer like when you have it on your when you swatch it onto your skin it's pretty sheer so I don't really find that that one's necessary but the other three steel gray which is this one, this one's camel taupe, and this one's berry gray. Those are really, really pretty colors. As for the ones that I bought though, and I'm wearing them on my eyes, we'll start with the base shade, is this one called Aluminum Taupe, which I was super excited about because it's just so pretty and it's a taupe shade. And sorry my phone's ringing, but I'm gonna keep going. I don't think it'll pick it up. But it's just so pretty and shimmery. 
and I really really like it if you want to see better swatches definitely check out my blog and I'll have the blog post for it linked down below and when I bought these they were a dollar but they're regularly two dollars each which is such a great deal they're really nice quality like I would definitely buy these if these were like six bucks each they're really good quality the other one that I'm wearing in my outer corner which I don't know how this got all messy I thought I cleaned it up this morning um, is in Raisinberry which is what I'm wearing on my outer corner and up in my crease. Just a really pretty burgundy shade. Really like it, and all the ones that I bought were satin, um, so I haven't tried any of the others. Um, but that's what's in my outer corner and into my crease. I did use this one, but you can't really see it, but I just blended out my crease with this a little bit. And this one's called Wineberry. It's just a brighter wine shade, literally. Um, and this one's really, really pretty as well. I love them all. I have three favorite lip products. Um, this Too Faced one in Living in Sin is so pretty, and it's a dark plum purple, like it's a vampy purple. It's actually what I'm wearing right now, but this, it faded a little bit, um, so it does not come off this dark. It's lighter, like, let me put it on. It's gonna get a little darker, but... It's not like as dark as the tube, that's really how it looks in real life. My lighting is true today. My lighting is being good today. And then the other two are from Maybelline Vivids. I love these. Okay, so this one is Hot Plum. And just a really pretty, vivid, violet-y shade. I really like it. They smell so good. They smell like vanilla. I love them. But that's that one right there. It's just like more violet and pinky. And then the other one is called Brazenberry, which is a darker plum shade, which I really, really like as well. And it's more on the plum side. So we can tell. And then my lips. Like, these are brighter, obviously, and this is more, like, mauve -y. I really, really like those. Okay, and then as for other favorites, uh, I haven't just... Filming Halloween tutorials is like, it's, just, it's so fun guys. I really, really like it. Oh, um, but yeah, filming Halloween tutorials are just so fun. I really like doing them. So they are really fun. I really like it. Um, but I also want to talk about this mascara. Um, the benefit, they are real mascara. I like this, but it is terrible to remove and, um, I try to remove it with like everything possible and it's just like it won't come off of my lashes so I don't know but I really do like it it's what I'm wearing on my top lashes today that's basically it for this sassy Saturday oh no why do I do that we need to do video recap video recap I really like these eyes these are my favorite so if you guys want to see how I got these let me know and I will film a tutorial okay so I uploaded on Sunday actually, vlog cleaning, um, on Monday I uploaded my Glam Fall makeup tutorial, and then on Tuesday I uploaded Spooktacular series which inspired nail art, um, yes that's, what's all, that's what all of my tutorials are going to be called, well that's what my Halloween series is going to be called, Spooktacular series, um, and then also my snakeskin nail art which is a part of the Spooktacular series, and then on Thursday I uploaded my Coastal Scents Hot Pot Haul, and then on Friday I uploaded my Halloween candy nail art tutorial. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the Sassy Saturdays. If you did, Sassy Saturday, if you did, give it a thumbs up and comment down below anything you want. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.